Welcome, welcome back at uh, C Square. In this uh, video clip, we're gonna talk about a library of function, and we're gonna talk about characteristic of this function. And the first function I'm gonna talk about is the constant function. And for this one, I'm gonna use a sp special case f of x equal three. That's the graph you see here. And the domain of this function is uh, all real numbers. And also you can write this statement in a interval notation, negative infinity, infinity, if that is needed. The range, the range of this constant function is only number three in this case, there is nothing else you can get out of this uh, constant function but 3, like I said, in this case. Uh, we have one intercept, which is this one, which is a y-intercept. And that y-intercept is 0 and 3 in this case. This function is even. And it's even because if you take a look at the picture, is symmetrical with respect of y axis. Um, also, the if you take a look to this function, is not increasing, is not decreasing, is always a constant. It's three in this case. And also, we do not have a minimum, we do not have a maximum, we have just a simple value f of x equals 3. The second function I'm going to look at is the identity function f of x equals x. This is the graph of f of x equals x. If you need to do this graph, you can uh, use a table. The domain of this uh, function is all real numbers. Of course, if you remember, we can write this in interval notation in this format. The range, the same uh, idea, all real numbers. And again, we can write that in interval notation. Intercept, we have one intercept, which is right here. It, it is the x and the y intercept. And it is 0 and 0. And like I said, that is the x and y intercept. This function, if you take a look, it's symmetrical with respect of origin. And that means the function is odd. And uh, we look into this function is going up from left to right always like this. So this function is increasing all the time. It's never decreasing, never a constant, just increasing. And we do not have a minimum, we do not have a maximum. The next function I'm going to move at is the absolute value function. This is the graph of absolute function, absolute value function, which can be done using also a table. The domain is all real numbers. Or if you remember, negative infinity, infinity. The range, the range is very important. You can get out only positive numbers or zero. So we call these non-negative numbers. How you can write this in interval notation? It's simply zero infinity. 0, it's a close, inter, uh, close uh, bracket, infinity always a uh, parenthesis. Intercept, we have similar to the identity function, one intercept, which is this origin, 0 and 0, that is the x and the y intercept. Looking to the function, we notice that there is this function is symmetrical with respect of y-axis. So this function is even. 
Now, when you look into the increasing, decreasing, and constant, and we notice this function is decreasing here, is going down from left to right. So, from negative infinity to zero is decreasing, and then from zero to infinity, you notice is going up. And is never constant. And we do have here a minimum, no maximum, zero and zero, and you can call that in fact an absolute minimum. It's that is the lowest possible value for this function. Let's move to the next function, which is f of x equals x squared, the quadratic function. The domain, uh, let's first see the function. This is the f of x equals x squared, which you can do it using a table also. The domain, similar with the others, all real numbers. Again, you remember negative infinity, infinity, the interval notation. The range, similar with the absolute value, notice we can get zero and positive number only. So the range is non-negative numbers. If you want to write this in interval notation, uh, bracket, zero, infinity, parentheses. We have one intercept, which is the x and the y intercept, and it's zero and zero, the origin. Looking to the picture, we notice this is symmetrical with the y axis. So that means the function is even. Similar with the absolute value, you notice this function is decreasing here. Is going down uh, from negative infinity to zero, and then is after that is increasing on this side, which is from zero to infinity, is increasing, is never constant. And similar with the absolute value, we have a minimum, no maximum, uh, and that is zero and zero. And similar with the absolute value, this is a absolute minimum. The next function we're going to look at is the cube function, or the cubic function, right here. This is the graph, which you can uh, obtain again using a table. The domain is, again, all real numbers. Which means negative infinity, infinity. The range you can get all real numbers out. So again, negative infinity, infinity. Intercept we have only one, similar with the others, which is all its d origin zero and zero. So this is the x and the y intercept. If if you notice this function is symmetrical with respect of origin. So this function is odd. And if you notice, this function is increasing all the time. All the time, this function is going up, 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 up. So it's never decreasing, never constant, is increasing all the time on its domain. And we do not have a minimum. We do not have a maximum. Let's move to the next function, which is called the square root function. This is the graph of square root function. You can get that uh, graph using a table also. The domain is, be careful now, only positive number or zero. So non-negative numbers. You cannot take square root of negative numbers, remember that. Uh, interval notation, zero infinity, in case you need it. The range similar, you can get out only positive number or zero. So non-negative non numbers. So again, we can write that zero infinity. 
Intercepts similar to uh, the others, we have only one intercept which is uh, the x and y intercept and is that origin 0 and 0. If you take a look there is no symmetry here, no symmetry here, which means the function is neither odd nor even, it's neither, no symmetry. And if you take a look, this function is increasing all the time. Slowly, 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 slowly is going to go up, never decreasing, never a constant. So it's increasing on its domain, 0, infinity. And we have a minimum, which is the uh, starting point, And it's an absolute minimum. And that is 0 and 0. We can move now to the next function, which is called the cubic root function or cube root function. This is the graph and the domain of this function is all real numbers. You can use any uh, value for x. So you notice it's a little bit different than the square root function. The range, the same story. The fu this function can get any value or uh, real numbers. So again, negative infinity, infinity, if you need this intercept, we have only one, which is x and y intercept, right? And in our case, it's 0 and 0. If you notice and you take a look to this picture, it's symmetrical with respect of this origin. So that means the function is add. And now let's take a look. This function is increasing all the time. Slowly, 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 but it is increasing all the time. Never decreasing. Never a constant. So it's increasing on its interval, which is all the real number. And we do not have a minimum. We do not have a maximum. Let's move to the next one. The last one, which is the reciprocal function f of x equals 1 over x. And this one is a little bit different than the others. You notice we have two parts of this function. This function we call is discontinuous. It's not continuous like the others. We have two parts in case you, you hear that. Um, but let's take a look to domain. We can use any x for the domain but this 0. You notice we have an asymptote there. Other than that, you can use any value. So the domain is anything but zero. That is one way to say it. If you need the interval notation, negative infinity zero, union zero infinity. What about the range? The range is the same story. You can get out of this function anything but this zero. You notice we have this uh, asymptote, vertical or asymptote and horizontal asymptote. You cannot get out zero. Um, so the same story, y cannot be zero, and you can write it the same way in case you need the interval notation. Intercept, do we, do we have no intercepts? This graph doesn't intersect x-axis or y-axis, no intercepts. If you take a look, this function is symmetrical with respect of origin. You can flip this left side and over the origin and get the right side or vice versa. So this function is add. This function is decreasing all the time. If you take a look, it's decreasing here, going down. And also here, it's going down if you take a look to the other branch of this uh, reciprocal function. So always decreasing on its interval, which is negative infinity, 0 union of zero infinity and we do not have a minimum we do not have a maximum and that's it if you enjoyed this clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you